Welcome. In this video, we'll solve the exercise I previously showed you. Please stop the video right now if you haven't done it because watching doesn't equal learning. Get hands on and do it yourself, then check how I approach things. OK, let's go. First, we have to take a good look at our end result. You had this attached to the previous lecture and I recommend you put on your second monitor if you have one. Working side by side with two displays is a great option. If you don't have one available, just remember constantly to check it as you move along. The result won't be 100% the same, it won't be a perfect replica, but let's do our best to recreate it. The first thing I'll focus on is the order of my layers in this panel. I'll move some on the canvas too, but this panel will be the key here and we'll leave all the fine tuning for the end. I'll start working from the back towards the front. That means I'll start with the background composed from these two blue layers. The darker one is the second one from the top. It's called BG and it has no place being so high up. If we move it around the canvas, we can see it hides everything except for the mountains, which are above it in the layers panel. So let's move it way down, just above our black layer. Now, if we move it onto the canvas, we can see all the other elements. For main sky, we'll do the same thing. Move it just above our BG layer. Now it makes sense. We have a main black layer that covers our entire canvas, our blue background which frames everything, and our sky layer is just above it. I'll also put it somewhere in the middle of BG, but I'm not focused on precision at the moment. Now it's anybody's game regarding the next step. I think it's best to approach it from the bottom to the top, meaning I'll focus on this ground and grass, then the hills, the mountains, and the factory and so on. Remember to always use control click to select a layer straight from the canvas. This will be a real time saver. So let's get to it. First, the base. Reposition it roughly on the canvas and think about the following. Does it need to cover anything up? Meaning, should it overlap with another layer to hide a part of it? Well, we can see this base layer is connected with the hills layer. They seem to blend perfectly, so it need not do any of that. Plus, considering we're looking at the project from the ground up, it makes sense to position this layer just above the main sky. If we move it between the sky and the BG, a big part of it would be hidden, so that's not ideal. Revert to its previous position. Now for our hills. Select them and move them somewhere above our base layer. If needed, zoom in and leave no empty pixels. You don't want this component floating above ground. Let's check out our final image to see our progress. Well, by comparing the two, we can see we have an issue. We repositioned our hills on the canvas, but we did nothing in our layers panel. This creates the following problem. The factory is above everything else, it should be behind our hills. See how through this overlapping we hide the square base of this building. To fix that, we have to make sure our hills layer is above our factory layer. So we'll move the two in the layers panel and we'll have the following order. Black layer, BG, Main sky, base, factory, hills. Moving back to the canvas, make sure your factory is somewhere behind the right hill. Next, let's focus on our mountains. Select them from the canvas and move them near the left hill. As you can see, this is positioned above everything else because it's our first layer in this panel. Let's move it way down. How far down? Well, it's important to have it underneath our hills layer, but besides that, it really doesn't make that much difference. We could put it underneath factory, even lower under the base layer, but this doesn't matter because these elements don't intersect with each other on the canvas. So, if the mountains should have been behind the factory, then their relative positions would have mattered. But because they don't overlap whatsoever, it makes no difference where you put it. Now, let's focus on our solar panels. Remember to zoom in if needed. Here we can choose whether to position them above or behind our hills layer. If we put them above it, we have to be precise so as not to have any pixels like these. In our final results, we can see there's no pole visible on the grass. So instead of moving this layer tediously, we can opt for the second option, which is much easier for us. Place the layer underneath the hills. 
And now there you go, it now looks similar to the picture. Let's see what else we need to do. Our sun is partially hidden by our fluffy clouds. That means they should be above it in the layers panel. Let's put them at the very top. Fantastic. Well, all that's left is to reposition everything on the canvas because their order in this panel no longer affects our design. So let's move the raindrops more to the right, exactly underneath this big cloud. And by going back and forth between our project and our final result, we can see what else we need to adjust. I'll speed things up because right now there's nothing interesting left to do. I'm just fiddling with all these layers whilst I'm on the move tool. OK, let's take a breather here. One final thing I want to show you is a glimpse into some techniques we'll cover later or maybe in a real-world project. I want to centre the biggest layers between themselves. That means BG, Main Sky, Base and Hills. I'll select them all and I'll use one of the alignment tools. Align Horizontal Centres. I know I haven't presented them yet, but here's what it does. Boom! Now everything is perfectly aligned. And I mean pixel-perfect alignment. I'll also do one more step. Hide the black layer because we no longer need it in our project. Next, I'll go to Image, Trim. Here we get a new panel, and I'll use the first option here. Press OK, and we've now removed all the excess transparent space we had all around. And that's our project. Yours may still have a black layer behind it, but if your result is somewhat similar, then you did a great job. If you feel something wasn't right, Jump back into the initial PSD file and try it one more time. Have fun!